Now in this section we're going to look at page formatting. Now a while back we looked at font formatting or text formatting, then we looked at paragraph formatting and now we're going to look at page formatting which applies to the entire page. Now if you click on the layout tab here in the page setup section you'll find there's various things that work at a page level, so things like margins, orientation, page size and uh, columns and what have you. So let's look at margins first. I'm going to click on the down arrow under the margins icon. You can have normal margins look like this. Narrow margins looks like that. You can have wide margins looks like that. Or if you want you can have custom margins which basically means you can set them yourself so you can have top, bottom, left and right margins as you wish. So what I'll do here is I'll go back to margins, we'll go back to normal. So that's how you change the margins of uh, the page. Now the other thing you can do is change the page orientation. So normally it'll be in what's called portrait. If you click on here and click on where it says landscape, it will change to this. So as you can see it's using a different page layout, a landscape layout. If I want to go back to the original one which is portrait, which is the one you normally use, looks like that. If I click on where it says page here, or size rather, uh, I live in Australia and here the standard page size is A4. If I was living in the United States it would be letter size, so it would be slightly different as you can see. So I'll put it back to my standard which is A4 and there we are back there. So uh, page size is one of the things you set once and just leave it. Now at the moment if we scroll down here we're using the A4 page size you can see that's where this page sort of ends and then the text flows onto the next page here. And if we go down here the text goes to here and then the rest of the document flows down here. Now what you can do if you want is you can insert what's called a page break. So let's say for some reason you wanted um, this item here to go onto the next page. If I click here at the end of this paragraph here and then press Control Enter, can you see what happened? It actually inserted a hidden character which dropped the next page down to here. If I go to the Home tab here and click here on the Show Hide, you can see there's the page break um, character. If I click just before that and delete that, it goes back to the way it was, so it now looks like that. So let's say I wanted it so that this um, first line here was on the first page and the rest of the document reverted to page 2. I click here at the end of the um, first line, press Control Enter, and then what happens if I scroll back up is that's on the first page and the rest of the document has reverted down here. If you can't remember the shortcut, I'll just click here and undo that. What you could do is you could go to um, Layout, go to Breaks, and then you can insert a page break using the command here, and that would have the same effect. But as I say, if you like short, shortcut um, keys, it's Control Enter is a shortcut for a page break. Now another nice feature that operates at a page level is a cover sheet. So I click on where it says Insert here, I can click on where it says cover page and from there I can select all these different uh, formats here so as you can see they're quite attractive so let's say I wanted um, maybe this one here I could click on this and that would insert this as the first page then you've got the rest of the document so in here I could just simply type in there to describe what the document's about and I'm going to call it um, all about SEO and um, then I could type in search engine optimization and then down here I could type whatever I want in this case I'll just simply type the company name and maybe my name space in there. So basically that gives you a nice cover sheet with minimal effort and you, as I say you can just sort of customize these bits and pieces and uh, then you've got the rest of the document. If I undo this and let's try another one 
So let's try inserting another, another cover sheet. I'll go to Insert, Cover Page. Uh, this time I'll pick something a little bit different. Maybe this one here. So I can type in the year. And give it a document title. Something like SEO tips. And then of course I can change, I'll leave this as it is, it's not very relevant. I could change the picture as well, we'll see more on that later. And again I can type in various bits of information there. But as you can see that gives you a nice cover sheet which is inserted right at the beginning of the document. And again it just makes it look more professional.